Can we get lunch from McDonald's today? McDonald's is one of the most beloved fast food chains in the world. With such widespread influence and so many locations worldwide, the franchise is bound to slip up from time to time. Some of the mistakes they've made are amusing, while others, well, not so much. McDonald's has a lot of baggage, and we decided to sort through all the skeletons in their closet to bring you the 10 McDonald's mistakes they will always regret. I am already full of regrets. Hot coffee scandal. Oh, that's so hot! What is that? It's coffee! Have you ever noticed the disclaimer printed on disposable coffee cups or sleeves warning you that the beverage you are about to consume is very hot? Well, there's a reason that disclaimers like this one need to exist. In 1992, a hot cup of coffee got McDonald's into a whole lot of trouble. Stella Liebeck suffered serious burns after spilling her scalding coffee on herself. She ultimately sued the fast food chain and received a tidy sum of money as a result. This lawsuit is often viewed as frivolous, but it's far more serious than the media would have you believe. So all these years you've been lying to me? Turns out, McDonald's coffee was being served at a temperature approximately 35 degrees higher than coffee from most other establishments. Not only that, but during the court proceedings, hundreds of anecdotes of people being burned by the fast food giant's coffee were unearthed. Liebeck herself had third-degree burns over 16% of her body and had to undergo hospitalization and surgery. Despite the fact that McDonald's would probably rather everyone forget about the whole incident, the hot coffee scandal isn't one that's easily forgotten. But I won't forget! I won't forget! The Mick ownership. They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Wanting to protect your brand is one thing, but McDonald's started to take things a bit too far. The chain has grown extremely possessive of the Mick prefix and has made considerable efforts to make it their own. They've gone to great lengths to have other businesses with names utilizing the prefix to drop it entirely, even when it's part of their family name. That's capitalism, babe. One particularly embarrassing incident involved McDonald's Family Restaurant in Fairbury, Illinois. In the 90s, McDonald's, the fast food restaurant, decided to open a location in Fairbury and actually made McDonald's Family Restaurant remove the possessive S from their restaurant name. The residents of Fairbury certainly weren't putting up with it. They maintained a fierce loyalty to McDonald's Family Restaurant. Luckily, things went back to normal after the McDonald's shut down. McDonald's might want to lighten up a bit on this one. The chain is famous enough that no one is going to confuse it with a family-owned business. McDonald's? Oh, just think about that. Mm. Labor law infractions. These so-called friends of mine have been exploiting my labor for years. Several reports of poor working conditions at McDonald's can be found both overseas and in the United States. Pregnant employees being mistreated, wage theft, the scheduling of excessively long shifts, some up to 25 hours in length without overtime, the list goes on and on. <laughs> Sounds awful. It can be expected for there to be isolated incidents of this kind of worker maltreatment, but to have them popping up with such frequency doesn't look good for McDonald's. In the States, McDonald's employees banded together, demanding the right to unionize, as well as an increase in pay from $7.25 to $15 per hour. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, workers went on strike in order to fight for guaranteed hours and increased wages. The revelation that McDonald's had been dodging labor laws left and right was one that disgusted a lot of people. You could afford to pay your workers more. Vegetarian French fry controversy. You want to take off? Grab some vegan fries? Fast food restaurants have never been the most welcoming places for vegetarians. Naturally, many people were thrilled to hear the announcement that McDonald's would be switching over to plant-based oils. Vegetarians everywhere could finally enjoy these world-famous fries. Unfortunately, they were victims of misinformation. While McDonald's stated that their fries were now being cooked in 100% vegetable oil, they failed to mention that they were still adding beef flavoring to their oil. You lied to me? You won't be surprised to hear that. Once the truth came out, it didn't go over well at all. It hit both McDonald's reputation and wallet quite hard. In the resulting lawsuit, McDonald's was made to pay $10 million to multiple vegetarian organizations. In Canada, McDonald's stopped using animal products to make their fries in 2007, and they're now a vegan product. This is true of several countries worldwide. We'll see if the United States follows suit. I'm gonna get some fries. You want anything? Korea's Bulgogi Burger. Mm, damn, this Bulgogi's tight. 
While much of the McDonald's menu is kept consistent at locations around the world, sometimes different countries like to add their own cultural twist. An example of this is the bulgogi burger, which was available at McDonald's in South Korea. It celebrated one of their favorite local dishes by fusing it with a classic McDonald's burger, and general consensus was that the result was delicious. Bulgogi is an amazing Korean dish, made of grilled beef slices, marinated in soy sauce, and seasoned delectably. Actually, All you're doing right now is making me hungry, right. so why don't you do something about that? Sure, sure. At first, everyone was singing this burger's praises, but then, in 2017, a group of school children stopped at McDonald's on a field trip. The teacher, along with several of the children, ordered this particular item, and ultimately fell ill with enteritis, a horribly uncomfortable intestinal inflammation. Not long after, a five-year-old girl suffered permanent kidney failure after eating a bulgogi burger. In the latter case, the burger had reportedly been undercooked. All of this together was too much of a hit to the burger's reputation. In an attempt to play it safe, McDonald's pulled the item from their menus temporarily. At least everything is back to normal. Monopoly Scandal Okay, time for Monopoly! Monopoly and McDonald's kind of go hand in hand. Their partnership was a great marketing move on McDonald's part, however there was one small kink in the system that brought them more bad press than good. The contest was simple enough. All you had to do was order a meal and collect the Monopoly pieces that came with it. Collect the right ones and you're a winner. There were several possible prizes, but the big one was a whopping one million dollars. A million dollars? People will do a lot of things for money, like the ex-cop who was willing to go to pretty extreme lengths. He worked at the company that manufactured the Monopoly pieces and therefore had easy access to them. For 12 years, he arranged shady deals with people, offering to give them the pieces necessary to win a cash prize. What did he want in exchange? A cut of their prize winnings, of course. This scam went on for so long that, by the time the truth came out, McDonald's had lost $24 million and a whole lot of respect. All in all, a pretty unfortunate situation for them. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. He'll bounce back. Pink slime. They found a little bit of that pink slime. No one has ever expected McDonald's to be a health food restaurant. No one's asking for kale smoothies, protein bars, or anything of the sort. But that doesn't necessarily mean that people don't expect their meals to be prepared with ingredients that at least resemble food. All anyone is asking for are edible ingredients. And pink slime? That ain't it. When pictures of the pink slime began circulating online, people were shocked that the gooey Pepto-Bismol colored substance was the precursor to their beloved loved Big Macs. What exactly is this pink slime? Well, in the industry, it's referred to as lean, finely textured beef. It's made from the meat that gets trimmed off of beef along with the fat. The trimmings are simmered to separate muscle and fat, then run through a machine to complete the separation. Next, it's squeezed through a pipe and sprayed with ammonia to remove all bacteria. Then it's dyed pink, packaged, frozen, and shipped out to meat packing plants. And that, everyone, is how pink slime is born. That sounds disgusting. The FDA and the American Meat Institute have both proclaimed that it is safe for consumption, but many people in the general population didn't like the look of it at all. After the pink slime news broke on ABC in 2012, many fast food corporations, McDonald's included, announced that they would no longer be using it in their products. But the damage was done, and the pink slime legacy lives on. You'll never get rid of me! Racism lawsuit in Virginia I can see why you're suing. Shortly after purchasing three McDonald's locations in Virginia, a man named Michael Simon had 15 employees fired in an attempt to reduce the number of African Americans employed at his restaurants. The black employees who lost their jobs were replaced by white individuals. Additionally, while still working at McDonald's, one of the black workers who was eventually fired reported having been harassed on multiple occasions by supervisors who made inappropriate and racist remarks towards them. That's horrible! Ten of these former employees filed a civil rights lawsuit against McDonald's on the basis of discrimination. Many are frustrated with the franchise for not doing more to protect its employees. There was remarkable outcry in response to this incident. An online petition demanding reparations for the former employees garnered tens of thousands of signatures. Hopefully, McDonald's has learned from this and will take the necessary actions to ensure that their employees are protected and safe from discrimination in the future. Happy 
employees are good employees, and good employees are good for business. Muslim Family McChicken. It's chicken. You love chicken. This is, unfortunately, another incident that boils down to intolerance of minority groups. A Muslim family visiting Alabama from New York stopped in at a McDonald's in Decatur, where they ordered 14 McChicken sandwiches. This sandwich is their go-to McDonald's order, but this time, something was different. While eating their sandwiches, they noticed an unfamiliar and unexpected flavor, which they described as smoky. They proceeded to open up the sandwiches, only to find small pieces of bacon, arranged in such a way that they were hidden from view when the sandwich was closed. In keeping with their religion, Muslim Muslims are not supposed to eat pork, so needless to say, this discovery was rather upsetting. A representative from the Decatur McDonald's stated that this was unintentional and that the employees were not at fault, but failed to provide any evidence to support their claim. You want to show me a shred of evidence? Bacon is not typically included in the McChicken, and the way it was stealthily hidden inside the sandwich makes it hard to believe that it was a simple mistake. And to make that same mistake 14 times, nobody's buying it. It's awful to say, but such acts are not uncommon. In fact, over the past few years, they've actually been occurring with more and more frequency. The world is dark and selfish and cruel. Drive through intercom hacks. Fight the planet! Let's end things off on a more positive note, shall we? We've seen racism, poor working conditions, and third degree burns, so here's a bit of a darkly comedic pick me up. This event took place in 2016 in New Bern, North Carolina. On December 4th, an intricate prank was executed by a very talented hacker who tapped into the drive through intercom's wireless frequency. Customers in the drive through found themselves subjected to the customized messages of a hacker with a twisted sense of humor. In a video, the hacker can be heard saying things like, you know, I'm actually on the toilet right now and I'm just going to serve you your food. I'm not even going to wash my hands. And it just gets more inappropriate from there. I'm trying to get some that special sauce out right now. To make matters worse, after they got bored or ran out of creative content, the hacker proceeded to play audio from, how should we say, an adult video. Way to keep it classy. This shocking event definitely didn't reflect well on McDonald's, and the fast food chain went to great lengths to ensure that nothing of the like would ever happen again. The last thing they needed was for this isolated incident to become a widespread epidemic. We can't let it spread any further. You're right. Help yourself to more and tap that screen for our next great video. Checking us out for the first time? Then take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.